Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sandbox channel. Today, we're gonna be doing the high grade after colony Gundam Sand Rock. So, as I said in my unboxing video, this one right here don't provide you any type of machine gun. So, I assume Sand Rock Kai is premium and I, yes. Anyway, so looking at the box art, this time the box art, I think is pretty, is is drew pretty well is amazing the mechanics is at the back so really have that feeling so at the side here we have some introduction right here actions uh the red heat soto blade is included is a beam effect part or something like that the gimmicks so the gimmicks introduction right here weapons weapons with only a shield and the heat soto so i don't think if you're someone like to mess with weapons then i don't really think you're gonna like it so Right here we have the introduction, one of the five gonna deploy during Operation Meteor. Okay, now let's not talk too much, let's just uh, open up the runners first. Alright now, so let's get a quick look, so this is the Sand Rock. So as you can see right here, compared to the OXG, this time it's a more slim and the scale actually got it correct. It's not like short and looking pretty pretty fat, you know. And then at the back here, we can see that introduction weapons and the color guide down below. We opened it and then we can see that all kind of assemble parts right here. So we're just gonna quickly flick through them. As you can see right here, so done. So that's the instruction menu. Next, we're gonna introduce the runner. So first, we're gonna starting with a runner. A runner, we have the shield, the torso part. So this is a waist part, that's the antenna. And then we have the, I don't know which part is it, is this head or something like that? So head right here and then we have some arms. This is the shield, shield, torso, waist, and a side skirt, front skirt. I don't know which part of these is, and then the feet part right here. So A is just a mixing between everything. And then we have a D1, I think this D1 part, this is the heat solo when it's not heated. This is the shoulders. This is the part of the part of his shoulders. This is, I believe this is a front skirt or something like that. I don't, I don't really know though, this one. So, yep, uh, it's, it's just like that. So we have a B1 and B2, so I'm just gonna pick one to introduce. So we have B1 runner. B1 runner is all the inner frames right here. We can see that this is the handle of the heat solo. And then we have the all kind of action arms. We have the normal uh, normal hand. Well, I think this one is a oh this one is a weapon holding hand, it's not fist hand. We have the we have the hand when the heat solo will heat uh, were hold it. And then we have the open hands as well. This is the waist part and then this is all kind of joints for the legs and for their for the arms as well this one right here this is definitely the feet part next we have c1 and c2 so i'm just gonna pick one to introduce this one shoulders legs uh this one is the feet uh the what's that called the feet armor and then we have the waist part um waist and then the torso between connector this is the this is the head as well this is the skirt why well, i don't really know this part this is this is part of the gundam face and this is pretty much it i think and next up of course we have the heated version of the blade so this is the d2 runner and then we have poly caps and also we're just gonna take a look at the sticker so this time the sticker um is a is a bit much as you can see right here is a bit much this time for a new kit so anyway so i'm i'm gonna talk i'm not gonna talk too much so let's jump to the building process and i'll see you guys in the review I need to know if you'll give me a second chance They don't come on often, but please you know I can't stand it When you don't talk to me When you don't talk to me yeah. There's something inside Yeah, there's something inside That brings me back to you, yeah
Something inside, yeah, there's something inside that brings me back to you, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Sandrog. So this is finishing product of it. Sandrog is uh very small, so compared to the other XG, it might look smaller first. And secondly, the color separation will not achieve that well for like specific detail part because you know. The mobile suit itself is already very small. You scale it to XG is even smaller, so it's very hard to to make the choice to do more color separation. Well, although they can achieve by undergating, but you know, it's such a small unit, and this is the XG. If this is an RG, I think it will it is able to do it, but XG, I think they just try to sell it and test it. So right now, side topic uh, for the Wing series, they release the Leo Wing. Leo Wing and then the what's that called Magnetic, uh, his his guard unit. So they release all of that. We still we still have some hope that they one day they will release all five of them. You know, Wing, Death Hell, Heavy Arm, Sandrog, uh, Ultron. We still have hope, okay, because Ultron already have a variation at Build Divers, and then Death Hell, we saw a glimpse of it at uh what's that called the love phantom so you know i'm really hoping bandai will actually get all five of them going but maybe you have to wait like another 10 years <laughs> okay anyways so let's not talk too much overall the finish is pretty great uh, it's pretty good uh the stickers that i saw at the opening wasn't really as bad as i thought it's actually pretty fit and doesn't really you know cause too much problem so okay i would deal with it but Anyways, so let's just jump into the review first. First, we're gonna starting with the hair. So the head looks a bit different than the normal Gundam. This one right here, you have a you have a very large gap between the neck and the chin, and the chin is even more is and the chin is looks even more weirder than the other Gundam. So, uh, you know the antenna is fine. So the first thing is, uh, this Gundam head is a very unique head. Is is uh done by Oops. It's done by three parts and you know the head itself because there's like literally no interruption so you can move like freely it's just a standard polycap joint in there so don't expect like it can uh, well the head still can lift up and lift down it's not just as impressive as those have the uh, external joint in it but anyway but this one right here i think the head movement is pretty fine the eyes the eyes and this camera right here is all achieved by stickers of course we have this part right here got left out at the back uh this one right here don't have anything so the head though i would just say uh the head though is is depends on you like do you like the design of it well uh, i honestly i like it because it's pretty unique uh, well, some people don't like it because uh, they don't like the huge gap between the neck and the chin. But personally, I like the head design. Okay, moving down a bit, we are looking at the torso. So this green part right here is thicker. Well, it's actually pretty small, so I don't, I don't think like it is achievable by like a very small XG piece anyway. So the torso right here, the color separation is doing absolutely amazing. You don't need to repaint anything. You don't need to extra paint anything. Well, except the missiles, if you really want to go detail. The it missile supposed to be a little bit gray not 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 like actually whole black it is a little bit of gray so this is so the torso i think it is a pretty good feature and this time as the instruction menu said it got an extend extension joint where it can bend uh, when you can bend the waist it is a pretty good design i think this one right here i think this is an improvement for xg and also <laughs> Uh, because there's like no interruption at the side skirt right here so you can really achieve some 360 movement right here so i think the the articulation on this thing is actually pretty amazing now talking about the arms so the arms can move 360 it also got the extra joint inside the torso right here so it allow you to move the shoulder even more the shoulder is an individual piece so you can choose to move her arms can lift up and then it can bend on a very good angle but i I don't know is it like an angle problem or like a or like the what's that called I don't know if it's the angle problem or my personal own feeling I feel like this articulation wasn't as as like obvious or as clear as the mud rock 
right so the hands here of course down here we we can move and then there's two other two options for you so we have two hands right here so just give me a minute oops so we have two hands right here the first one is the weapon holding hand and then the second one right here this hand is for holding the hiso the hisolo yes so free hands option the open hand right here i think uh this one is doing way better because you know this one is a close combat close combat mobile suit so more hands option means like you can really mess around with the poses so looking at the bottom here i think the biggest changes between the old version and the new version is the is the is the bottom is the bottom part of the body because why because if you build the like the absolutely oldest xg ever created for the sandrong you know that the leg scale looks absolutely ridiculous it looks short it looks too thick and i can't tell you what it feels like you have to look at the picture to judge it by yourself anyway it looks ugly okay so you know the newer version the scale got it correctly so we're just gonna look at the bottom right now so first we're gonna look at the side skirt the side skirt right here this red part uh red part vent right here it is actually a sticker but this red part right here is up is achieved by parts so i'm really impressed and you know the thing is um it can live like these skirt armor is absolutely amazing it can all lift up look at this you can achieve all kind of movements so and then there's a there is a joint at the center of the at the center of the waist when you can allow you to adjust the feet position you can so if i if i lift it down again so just lift down for a second if i if i really want if i if i need to achieve any you know a position judgment uh, adjustment we can just use it we can just use this joint to achieve it so kicking to the front and then because the back skirt is movable kicking to the kicking to the oops kicking to the back kicking to the back kicking to the side bending though uh bending and then also a bit of ankle movement right here this piece right here is also movable so overall the articulation on this thing is amazing i have to say it's very amazing it's impressed it's impressive it's amazing so i think you really want you really like having a lot of fun to 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 try to post this thing because this articulation is absolutely amazing for and xg so turning to the backpack we can see so i'm just gonna take off the backpack for for the this specific presentation just give me a minute so take off the backpack so i'm gonna put this aside so take off the backpack we can see that there's two heat solo and then the backpack the backpack itself is not really like in anything interesting it's just two thrusters sticking at the side i don't think it's that interesting anyway so uh two heat solo so you can pull this out from the backpack so it's pretty simple it's just two pieces snapping together it's not like it's it doesn't it doesn't have any extra work or anything like that so but the interesting thing but the interesting interesting thing about the his solo is actually you can you can switch around between like what kind of position you want uh, uh i mean what kind of what kind of uh what's that called what kind of mode you want you want it you want it normal or you want it heated you can choose between it but uh, this heated plastic right here i thought it was like kind of like a texture of the beam saber or something like that it is clear but it's actually pretty hard to break so you really can mess around with it uh very well and next oh wait let me let me put that let me put the uh his solo back on first so done is it did i put it correctly though yes i did okay so so next up we have this shield right here this shield is designed based on the idea of snake these two snake eyes right here is stickers but it's fine because it's fit uh this head right this claw right here it works like a snake's teeth so i think i think the idea is pretty cool uh the if you've been watching the instruction manual part you know that it can the shield can hang it to the back you can either hang it to the back like uh it was on a launch mode or you can put it or you can put it on the hands to achieve the cross crusher so the cross crusher is pretty simple you just put it on the hand and then make sure you open open the blades up and so you can so it's ready to you know capture the capture the enemy and then you know and then you know destroy it destruct it so i think that's pretty much it for the introduction because you know really i don't really have anything else to introduce about the accessory the accessory is just to his solo and a shield so anyway guys thank you for watching uh this is the end of the review honestly there's not much to talk about this but this is a pretty cheap belt that you can pick up if you really want to looking for for like the new mall or you know 
awesome articulation for you to pose or you are someone really like to mess around with your gamba this is the one that you don't put in the shelf and you can actually play with it so i'm i'm really impressed about how they did about the articulation thing well but sadly it doesn't come with the machine gun so i feel like it's left out something but anyway i think this one i think this gamba is definitely a very worthy pickup if you really want to if you're really tired of uh, building like C series universal, you can go to this one. This one is actually amazing. Uh, articulation, as I said, is fine. So really, really uh, created for you to pose around, mess around. You can you can even you know take it out from the shelf sometime and just mess around with it. I think this is a very cool product. Like I really wish they keep making more like uh, after colony series i'm waiting for the desktop home and if the desktop home came out i'm gonna definitely buy it anyway this is the end of the review hope you guys like it leave a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below and tell me how you feel and i will see you guys in the next review goodbye